I'm Vicki Norris, organizing expert of Restoring Order. So many are now working from home, and this can abruptly combine your personal and professional worlds. But it doesn't have to be a collision, it can be a thoughtful convergence. So today I'm sharing tips of how to merge your work and home life without frustration. Okay, first, aim for integration, not just separation. I know the proclivity is to separate yourself, but you will constantly be irritated if you're trying to separate yourself and things just aren't happening like they did when you had an office elsewhere. Now, integration is when you're intentionally blending things together that used to be segregated. And it's when you allocate time to everything that matters to you with an equal dose of boundaries and flexibility. I know, easier said than done. And that takes me to my next tip. Working from home means you don't have to commute anymore, so you regain time. This allows you to expand your work window. By allowing yourself a more fluid schedule, you can be present for that Band-Aid incident. You can be there for your family, for the people and duties in your life without guilt because you have more time to work. You can always finish that project after traditional work hours have ended. To give attention to both personal and professional matters in one space, I recommend taking your work and breaking it up into sessions. Here's how this can work if you have family at home. Tackle one kind of work at a time. For example, start your day with email triage. Get a bunch of it done and then stop. Get the kids some breakfast, lay them out for the morning, make sure everybody's good. Then start again a new session and tackle something a little bit bigger, maybe a project, estimate how long it will take, let everybody know how long it will take, <laughs> and then dive in and get it done. Then stop, make sure everybody's alive, take your first tea break. You see, work sessions can be a real lifesaver when you're trying to blend that home and work life. Working from home does not mean that you are stuck in your home office or in the middle of the mayhem. Take your office outdoors for a change of scene and noise level. I take a lot of conference calls on my daily walk. I get some of my best ideas barefoot in the grass with a notepad, and I love to office on my front porch to get some sun on my face. So I've shared all of these ideas and more on my related blog, Integrated Work From Home, Converging Your Worlds, available at restoringorder.com. Here is to integrating and reclaiming your life.